New at 5, Colorado State University giving fans a behind-the-scenes tour of Hughes Stadium to show why many at the school believe it needs to be replaced. Hughes was built in the late 60s, and people taking today's tour saw cracks in the concrete, exposed steam pipes leading into the concession areas, and bathroom facilities that are inadequate for both fans and players. Well, one fan says she wasn't certain a new stadium was needed, but after taking the tour, she sees it's a necessity. It's like going through a house that doesn't have any furniture in it. That you realize uh, where all the chips are on the wall in the house and you realize what needs to be fixed. And here it's just amazing. I, I was really um, impressed and not really in a good way as to how, how hurting Hughes is right now. Even the turf at the stadium will need to be replaced in the next couple of years. So if a new stadium is built, it will be built on campus. Hughes is a few miles away, and CSU President Tony Frank is expected to make the final decision on the new stadium's fate in the next couple of weeks. Crews just finishing a big renovation at UNC's arena in Greeley, and now it has a new name, too, but it's a mouthful. The former Butler Hancock Athletic Center is now, thanks to sponsorship, the Bank of Colorado Arena at Butler Hancock Athletic Center. Did you get all that? Bank of Colorado shelled out one and a half million dollars for those naming rights.